Hey guys, Joshua here from Dander Flight. Today I want to show you uh, the setup I use to keep a kennel in our car for our dog Moxie. So what I did here is uh, I've got some PVC that was cut to various lengths um, and made a, made a frame to fit our specific car. We have a 2013 Honda Odyssey um, and fortunately, unfortunately, when the seats are folded down, the floor is not flat. So there was a bit of measuring involved figuring out which legs needed to be which length to make the kennel sit flat uh, once it was in. But after I got that done, it was pretty straightforward. I got a folding wire crate uh, off of Amazon and then used hose clamps to attach it to the PVC. Then after I set this in to the back of the van, I used uh, some ratchet straps and cam buckles to go under the folded seat down through that well and attached at the front and back to keep it stationary so it doesn't move around. Um, I raised it up a little bit instead of just sticking this entire kennel in there because now I can keep it under the bed storage box underneath with all of our emergency supplies. Uh, jumper cables, tow strap, extra clothes, snacks, things like that can store underneath the kennel and I leave this in the van full time. Um, I also added a fan. This is the Endless Breeze 12 volt um, and in the back of our van there's a 12 volt plug. So when the van is on, stick this into the, into the the auxiliary 12 volt plug and turn the fan on and it blows air right through. Um, she really enjoys it. When the van is off, what it can do is, we've got this jump pack that, I, that we used um, as an emergency backup in case the battery on the van dies. Uh, but what I did was created a, a harness specifically to take that jump pack, which usually has the positive and negative clamps and turn it into 12 volt power outlet. I got a hold of the manufacturer and made sure that this was okay to do before I did it. Uh, and they assured me that it, it was. So I stick this in here and then plug it in. And now I can run it off this uh, auxiliary battery. Pretty cool setup and it allows a lot of flexibility in what we're doing. The other thing I really like about this setup is that um, when the kennel is up, which I can do it, uh, flip it up and down while it's in the car. Um, While the kennel's up, if you open the front here, you can take a, a sky kennel like this, unfold it, take all the screws out, put your door inside, lay the bottom on top, nest it like this, and now this guy fits perfectly right in here. So when we're traveling and we need to take a kennel into a hotel or we're staying at a friend's house, I don't have to remove this kennel from the vehicle. I can simply open the front, pull this kennel out, and use it. Uh, by doing it this way, then she still has visibility. I can see her through the uh, rear view mirror and you know, get light and air uh, through the back of the van. Cool tip about the kennels with these plastic um, trays, a lot of your pack and play sheets for babies will fit around those. So I've got a pack and play sheet on here uh, this just allows for quick washing and quick cleanup. Uh, we'll usually put something a little more comfy, a bed, in there additionally. Uh, but if we're just going for short trips or stuff, she, she prefers just to sit on there. I really like this setup. Uh, it works well for us. I thought that maybe some of you might uh, enjoy seeing some of the things that I did and get some ideas to uh, set up a, a kennel for yourself. What I really like about it is that I can take the kennel down and it lays flat in the back of the van. We only have four people in our family right now, so the back of our van is a, a constant trunk. Obviously, if you need to use those seats, this isn't gonna work for you. Uh, but maybe, you know, if you've got a bigger SUV or you don't need the back seats in your van, just some ideas to consider. All right, so something I forgot to mention when I was filming that is that if I put the kennel on uh, in the back row, it's got a 60-40 split on the fold-down seats. If you put it on the 60 side, <coughs> the kennel fits perfectly so that you can still pull up the, uh, the smaller seat. And so when I have the kennel installed, if we need to, we can still have access to six out of the eight seats in the, in the van. Um, and it's awesome. So when my parents come to visit, we, uh, we can get that back seat up and still have uh, room to store things on top of the folded down kennel and get that, that extra seat. Uh, it works out, works out really well. So put it on the 60% side of that, that rear split seat and you can still access the smaller seat.
As you probably noticed, the video was shot with the kennel not installed in the van. Unfortunately, before I could get this video filmed, the van was in an accident and totaled. So I'm going to show you a few pictures here of the installed and in action. So here we have Moxie and Tigger hanging out on a camping trip. It was big enough to have the cat travel with the dog sometimes. The next one is going to be a few in action shots. This is installing the, the sky kennel into the wire crate and then with the wire crate shut and then with the door open to let Moxie hop in and out. The last few photos here are going to be of the, the original um, prototype. Uh, in our previous van we had a Toyota Sienna um, that actually had a flat floor which was awesome uh, because I was able just to use some 4x4s, stack them too high and put some crossbars on and then I did the same thing. Uh, and then when we got the new Honda Odyssey we uh, I wanted something a little lighter and a little easier to install and looked a little better so I, I went to uh, creating the PVC one that I showed in the video. It worked out great. Hopefully you got some thought sparking ideas uh, and maybe something you can use in your own vehicle. If you thought this was valuable, pretty cool, give me a thumbs up, share with other people who travel with pets and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Moxie, Ken. Good girl. Good girl. Take care.